Sashimi is thinly sliced raw food and is one of the most famous dishes in Japanese cuisine. Seafood is most commonly used as sashimi, but other types of ingredients such as beef or cognac potato can also be served as sashimi. Some people confuse sashimi with sushi. Unlike sashimi, sushi includes vinegared rice. Sashimi is prepared and served in a traditional way, and how to prepare a sashimi platter is explained in the audio lecture. This video demonstrates how to slice fish specifically for sashimi more in detail. The slicing methods for sashimi, strictly speaking, have tens of different styles. However, the most basic ones will be roughly categorized into four of the following Hirazukuri, Sogizukuri, Usuzukuri, and Itozukuri and use them case by case depending on the texture of the fish. Japanese markets will carry high quality fish trimmed into pieces that are ready to be sliced and served sashimi style. However, if the fish is not already trimmed, you need to trim it into a fillet to be cut into pieces. Please refer to the video about how to break down a whole fish for more in detail. The pieces of fish specifically for sashimi are cut a little bit differently from those for sushi. Place the trimmed fillet skin side up. Slice it off vertically and slide to the right. If the fish is chewy, thinner slice will be better. If it's very tender, cut it thicker to take the advantage of the texture of the material. Just like the right side of nigiri sushi sliding downward, place the pieces of fish rightward, letting the left side face to the front. Mostly for fresh and chewy white meat fish like snapper and flounder, use sogi zukuri. This style is also used for most of sushi items. The way to slice slippery items explained with an example of octopus, namigiri, is applied from sogizukuri. Place the block with skin side down. The tail end usually has more sinew, so if it is too chewy, chop it off. Make the initial cut using the full length of the blade from the heel to the tip in one motion. Once the knife almost reached the skin side, stand up the blade and cut straight down. Fold them and stack on each other to create a little mound. For fish with tight and extremely chewy meat like puffer fish, use usuzukuri style. The point is to slice as thinly as you can see the color of the plate through the fish meat. Slice the fillet in half horizontally to make an even layer of cutting edge. Place the block with skin side up, slice into pieces using the tip of the knife adjusting the thickness with your fingertip. Place the pieces of sliced fish onto the plate while turning the plate clockwise, creating a flower-like decoration.
for small white meat fish or silver skin fish with thin meat, it's better to be sliced with ito zukuri. Ito means stream in Japanese. Slice the fillet in half horizontally to make an even layer of cutting edge. Divide it into three or four smaller blocks with a length of one bite size. Slice into slender strips. Squid sashimi sometimes can also be cut into long pieces with the same technique. These are the basics, but there is no exact and strict rule you have to follow when you slice fish. Which style you determine to use will depend on the type of fish, its size, its freshness, and how you want to arrange them on a plate. <laughs>